Hi guys, it's Mike, and welcome to Doomed. Now, Doomed is an indie horror game that I found on the front page of Itch.io. It actually looks pretty decent. The, uh, the screenshots are really good, and the comments are all really positive for it. Dare I hope? But I will say this at the beginning of the video, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave the video a like. Also, if you're new here, why not consider subscribing for more videos like this one? But with that out of the way, let's go meet this monster. Now, I know what it is. It looks like he has... An arm swinging, but I think it's just a really long arms. But we're gonna press space to start, and we're gonna get in, and we're gonna get. Oh, good evening! Time to wake. What do you mean, good evening? Time to wake up. We on a night shift or something? Who sets their alarm for the evening? I hate. I, I mean, I set my alarm for the morning. What a lovely. F <laughs> I mean, okay. Can't afford a fireplace. Can't actually have a fireplace in your apartment. Just stick a photo of a fireplace and pretend it's there. Warm your hands against the paper. Looks like someone was on a heavy session last night on the old plonk, aka red wine. Is there anything we could pick up in here from our delightfully minimalist computer setup? Our dodgy old phone. I mean, oh, the um, the mouse is a bit floaty. Made by Noddle. Noddle? Is it Noddle? I'm gonna say it's Noddle. What else we got? <laughs> this guy's art taste. It's very strange. It's a picture of muffins and a, I think a taxidermied cat. He's also, my God, this guy lives on a diet of wine. I mean, I guess he's kind of on the impression that it's one of your five a day because it's fruit. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult your taste in food. I'm going to go to the bathroom and shit myself now. Okay, we can't open any doors. We're incapable of opening doors, everybody. What's this? We can't crouch either, so I can't actually, like... Where's my... Okay, my flashlight's still there. That's good. But I thought it disappeared for a second. Ooh, what's that? Weed killer. Mmm, that's tasty. We'll have that for breakfast. Where is the power switch? I saw... Oh, God. Everything's breaking in my house. I swear I saw like a switch or something for a. Oh, is this it? No, that's a telephone. Oh, I think someone's coming up. Oh! Somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. He sounds really hungry. There's somebody at the door. Hello, let's let him in, shall we? Let's let the monster into our life. Well, I mean, <laughs> monster mate. I'm really sorry. I'm incapable of opening doors. It is a skill I haven't learnt. Because, look, I, I need to go to the toilet and I can't open my own door. So, I, I would love to let you in. I, I really would. But I, I literally can't. I'm just cursed to wander this same place. No wonder he's on the wine, honestly. If you can't... <laughs> where's his poop bucket? He's gonna have a bucket around somewhere where he takes a shit. What is that noise? door open? No, it's still closed. I mean, as much as I'm enjoying wandering around this very small apartment. Oh. Maybe we'll get an update. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm talking to you. He follows you. Don't be afraid, just listen to me. Okay. Leave the house to stop unnecessary movements. By the way, your door is open. Now go and ignore what is happening around you. Good luck. Uh, I, I'll be honest. I didn't really understand what the person was saying, thanks to the accent. And uh, that's not their fault. That's completely my fault. And it's something about not panicking. Oh, look. It's Slendy Bendy Man. You're right there. How come you could get in my bathroom, but I can't? That's illegal. Can you teach me how to open doors, please? I never learned to read. That was pretty random. But, uh, I mean, did he steal my microwave? What an asshole. Absolute dickhead. I needed that to microwave my wine. It was good to see we can actually get out of the apartment. I was worried it was going to be like that kind of, you know, stuck in the apartment, wandering around in the same space, just waiting for triggers to happen. But I I'm glad to be out and exploring, honestly. Oh, there's actually places to go. We're going out in the snow. And there's, uh, there's like blood everywhere I mean oh, 
hi. <laughs> he wanted a hug. I guess. Oh, oh. He wanted a hug and he abducted us and took us to the room with the plastic chairs. Man, I hate these chairs. They chafe your ass. Oh! Jump scare! That one got me. Well done, game. I was chatting shit. And I, <laughs> the monster didn't get me, but... I don't <laughs> okay, so a monster doesn't scare me, but a door opens. Do you know what? Theory time. I am the character in the game. I can't open doors, which is kind of concerning because I've shut my door to my recording room. And I feel like I'm now trapped in here forever. Help! Regardless of my current predicament, this lovely room here is just full of blood. Uh, this door's open though. I'm so glad that this monster's open doors for me. Wait, is this what? This is my apartment. Are you in the bathroom again? What is that? It looks like a pig! Mate, it, I hope this is not my apartment and I hope you've not been at my wine. I've got a rather large wine collection in here that I can't see right now because it's too dark. I am jumpy as shit today. Wow, okay. Fuck me and your... Oh no. Oh no. Again, it's scary because I can't open that door. <laughs> hey, you. Hi. On the other side of the radio. Hello. Everything will be fine, trust me. Okay, cool, thank you. This will last quickly. Just wait a little longer. Does that does that mean I can okay, open doors now? I'll be back soon, don't go anywhere. Oh, well, I can't, the door's closed. He's I lying. You're going to die right now. What, right now? This second? I mean, yeah, pretty much this second. Well, wow, okay. I, I'm in a room full of... Pipes. I mean... So this, oh, whee! That was fun. Someone got some influences from Silent Hill. Look at the rusty... I can't see shit. Not only did the monster uh, close doors on me, he also took my flashlight. Okay. We're just gonna walk into the dark. We're gonna be a big brave boy. Hello, friend. I'm. I'm just gonna keep walking. Yes. See, bravery paid off. Do we go down the super duper fun slide with the blood down it? I mean, there's nothing behind me. We've got no pressure. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I feel like the super duper fun slide would be a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. Woo! Geronimo. I feel like the sound's good because I can hear something walking around me. Oh, the, the, the phone's ringing. It's the, uh, the course that I ordered on how to open doors. Oh! What? Pick up your phone, mate. Michael, why haven't you been answering for so long? Oh, shit. I feel sleepy dork again. My name's Michael. Oh, I understand. You've been working hard lately. Yeah, it looks like you're right. It's okay. Take work through the corridors and have some coffee. Alright, I'll take your advice. Oh, thank God people can open the doors for me. Oh, thank God for that. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? CIA security? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, the janitor. Mate, you get, look, you're gonna need that to clean all this shit up down here. It seems what everything I saw was not a dream. It was. What? What was that? Oh, is that door opening? I was about to say, what was that noise? Can I get around the cleaning thing, please? Thank you. Oh, yeah, that was kind of like a bit fourth wall breaking. It was like, you've been asleep, Michael. And I was like, shit, that's my name. Fuck. Uh, ooh. This is some type of weird fever dream, right? Oh, hello. Again, monster, you don't scare me. Doors. That shit freaks me out. 
Oh, I fell down the stairs. <laughs> I mean, it was dark. Oh, thank you. Hello. It took a long time to wait. And I can see that you're ready. What? Who are you? And who are you? It doesn't matter now. We have a long way to go. Okay. The way to where? And Nixon's chemical factory is waiting for us. It's time to go. Okay. Is it time to go learn how to open doors? Because if it is, sign me up. I, I'm assuming that was kind of supposed to be like a G-Man-like character, and that's that's the end of it. I'm not going to try and explain what just happened there. I'll be perfectly honest. I have no idea. We worked at a security company. There was Mr. Long Arms there. Mr. Tickle Fingers. And then there was some shady government guy who's taking me to a chemical factory. <sighs> I mean, cast your theories in the comments. But otherwise, not actually that bad a game. Honestly, uh, it would have been nice if we could have some like interaction with the environment, but being an indie game, you know, like kind of, I can kind of understand why they just focus on the the set pieces and things like that. Um, but yeah, the run the running joke of me not being able to open doors did kind of play out quite a lot in this game. But anyway, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And thank you everybody so much for watching. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.